I have a question for you. I have to eat 10,000 calories today. If you had to eat 10,000 calories, what would you eat? I have to eat 10,000 calories today. If you had to eat 10,000 calories, what would you eat? I love food too much to care about the calories. So what's your favorite food that I should definitely eat today? Sushi? What about breakfast? What should I start today with? Waffles. Okay, the day might start with waffles. For somebody that claimed to love food so much, she really did not have <laughs> any good struggling. suggestions. Like she, I, I don't know if it was like being put on the spot or like maybe she likes way too many different foods, but I was, I thought I was gonna get a really good recommendation and we got absolutely nothing. So, good morning and welcome to the vlog because today we are going to try to consume 10,000 calories, but we're not gonna stop there because the 10,000 calorie challenge has been done. It's been beaten. I think I've seen 20 and 30,000 calorie challenges. Tomorrow is the real deal because tomorrow we are then going to try to burn 10,000 calories. You know, we often hear all you have to do is go, you know, burn more than you eat. So we're going to test that theory. When we get back from the gym this morning, we'll weigh ourselves. We'll see where we're at. We'll see how much weight we gain from the 10,000. We'll see if we actually burn that weight off in a single day of burning the 10,000 calories. Um, and we're going to have a lot of fun and a lot of suffering while doing so. So bad. Eighty-eight point four. Pre ten thousand calories. Let's see. I'm willing to bet one ninety-four tomorrow. Wow. Six pounds. Okay. I think six pounds. So we're back in the car right now, and obviously we just finished the leg workout. To be told, I have zero appetite. Part of me going into it was like, I want to do a leg workout to stimulate appetite, and then we ended up going a lot harder during legs than I thought we would. And so now I feel like there's so much lactate there that I have no appetite. So hopefully that comes back pretty soon. As you can tell, I'm drinking a drink right now. Um, I just checked, this has five calories, but the rules of the 10,000 calorie challenge state there are no liquid calories that count towards your goal. So even if I wanted to have a protein drink or a recovery drink or this Fit Aid right now, I could, but those calories would not count. And so I'm just gonna skip that. I'm gonna save room and I'm gonna go right into food. So like I said, we just finished the training session. I have an appointment in an hour and 15 minutes with a furniture store. Some of you guys know we just closed on our house literally a month and a half ago and we're waiting to move in uh, in a lease back situation. So while we're doing that, we're having the house designed by Restoration Hardware. So we're gonna go have a consult with them. We're gonna see what furniture and designs they picked out for the house. So it's pretty exciting stuff. For that, we're gonna stop by a local diner. We are going to get the first meal and the way I've gone about strategizing today is, this is my temporary goal, I'm not saying we're gonna to stick to it, but for right now, my head says, we are gonna do 2,500 to 3,000 calories per sitting. We're gonna get three to three and a half sittings and uh, just try to space it out as much as possible. Try to give my body time to digest each meal. I'm gonna stick with foods that I'm relatively used to, so that means breakfast foods are gonna be like omelets, pancakes, toast, things like that. Lunch is gonna be burgers and fries from Five Guys, because I eat that quite frequently anyway. And then dinner is actually going to be at Capitol Grill, which is one of my favorite steakhouses. Uh, I don't care how not hungry I am, if you put Capitol Grill in front of me, I'm gonna eat it. And so that's gonna be really just the final piece. So I'll show you guys the selections as we go along throughout the day. Hopefully I'm not half dead at the end of the day and hopefully I survive. We get these 10,000 calories in so that tomorrow we can burn all of them and see if this whole calories in, calories out thing holds true. Guys, we're, we're on our way now. I'm gonna pay attention to the road. We'll see you guys in Tyson's. We're, we're already behind schedule. My plan is like every five-ish hours, five, five and a half hours. So if we can get this in by 9.30, I think timing wise we'll be okay. What do you think the most unhealthy thing you have is? Heavy dishes. Do you think you could eat 10,000 calories in a day? I don't probably. 10,000, you think so? Is, is that a lot? I mean, I don't know, is it? You tell yeah, me. Yeah. For some people it is. Yeah. For some people it's breakfast. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. This is all dependent on you, Alejandra. Oh my goodness, it's a big visual celebration. It's nice to meet you, by the way. <laughs> nice I'm Javoris. Oh, Maria. It's a pleasure to meet you. Maria. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yes. Can I have an omelet? Can I do ham, tomatoes, cheese, cheddar, and bacon? Home fries are fine. Can I, do you have sourdough toast? We do have. Can I do sourdough toast instead of the biscuit? Yeah. Can I also have a Belgian waffle? Bacon, two strips, you think, in there? Breakfast potatoes, large Belgian waffle, 412 calories. The eggs, the ham, the cheese, the bacon, the, the potatoes, the toast, 
Belgian waffle with the butter, no syrup. Uh, we're at 1,876. I want to get to 3,000, so we're going to leave here. We're going to go to Dunkin' Donuts to get a couple donuts in. We graduated, yeah. I'm used to it, so you know I had to settle. That's really good. I haven't had a waffle in a long time. No syrup? No. Fuck syrup. I'm feeling good about this. Yeah? Yeah. It wasn't bad at all. Easiest 1,800 calories I've ever thrown down. We're done. All the food. Gone. 1800 calories. I'm eating 10,000 calories today and then I'm burning and then I'm burning 10,000 tomorrow. Lunch will be two bacon cheeseburgers and a medium fry. Is it hitting? I mean, I'm tired, but it doesn't like, it, like I'm not full. I'm not no. like, it's, it's not like hurting my stomach or like I'm not bloated or anything like that. I'm just like, I can tell like I haven't had this many carbs in quite some time. A little, a little foggy. My future bright light shining on my melanin. Yeah, make a plate, yeah. One full plate, 880 calories. I feel like this is gonna be the heaviest thing I eat all day. Like, the burgers scare me more than the full plate of mac and cheese. It is 12.27. Uh, I actually start client calls in an hour. I'm exhausted. The carbs have officially hit. Uh, they kicked in on the ride home. Not gonna lie, I was like falling asleep at the wheel, I felt like. I'm gonna lay down, quick 30 minute power nap. Um, hopefully that rejuvenates me a little bit. I'm gonna jump in the shower uh, and then we're gonna get the afternoon going. I got some client calls. We're gonna hit five guys. I got another appointment this afternoon and we're just gonna keep pushing. So I did on the way home map out the rest of the day. Uh, so it looks like I'll be doing five guys, Capital Grill and a few snacks thrown in. I think this is definitely gonna be doable. I'm not overly concerned. It's the next meal that's giving me the most uh, cause for concern. So we'll see how this goes, but I definitely need some sleep. So I'll see you guys in like an hour. I have two double bacon cheeseburgers, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, a uh, regular fry. Just how you like it. Could go and taste now. Big diamond. Can't you see it? We stay shiny. We're here. I'm in this broken chair. Literally, we are at Five Guys. As you can see, two bacon cheeseburgers, which are double patties, bacon, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, and a regular fry. The rest of that is Rico's. I did get a regular drink. We went with Coke Zero. This, I don't know, it's a ridiculous amount of calories. I'm pretty sure after this meal, we're at something like 4,600. But again, we've already calculated, calculated out the whole day, so we're gonna jump in, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna go run a few errands. So those of you guys that have been to Five Guys, you know that they give you a lot of fries. So this is a regular fry, but if you look in the bag, there's a ridiculous amount of fries. This is not for enjoyment at all. It's really not that good. I don't know, it's weird. It's like a different experience, like when you're literally just sitting down and you're trying to get food down for them. Just for the sole purpose of trying to get food down. Did you eat lunch here today? Oh, uh, yeah. What did you have? A hot dog. You got what? A hot dog and fries and a milkshake? No, no milkshake. No milkshake today. How many calories do you think that was? A lot. I just had two bacon cheeseburgers and a regular fry. Is that a lot? It's like 3,000 calories. Yeah, that's a lot. Is that gonna make me fat? Uh, no. No? Maybe. Yeah, every day. Uh. What else should we have today? I have to eat 5,000 more calories today. What else should I eat? Frappuccino. Oh, frappuccino is a good idea. Yeah. Those are delicious. Do you think we should tell people that if they like? If they order something like that, you should say, hey, like, just so you know, you might get fat. No. No? No. You think they'd get offended? No. I don't eat a lot. You work out? Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. You take steroids too? What? Steroids. Do you take them? No. No. No, I don't. They, <laughs> I'm not so good on exercise, but I eat. I count all my I don't, calories. I don't like to work out either. I just, like, take steroids so I can get bigger but muscles. Yeah, I just steroids. I don't like to go to the gym. So instead we just like, we shoot, you know, needle oh, in the no, arm. No, no, yeah. No. yeah. Yeah, yeah, like a needle like in your arm. What? Yeah. Better than like, ex that shit's too hard. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. No, like, I don't want to do that. I'm just stick a needle in your arm. Yeah. Way better. Uh, Abigail. Yes. Pegasus. Oh, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have to go. Okay, nice to meet you. Done. There you go. 3,000 calories, motherfuckers. That was awful. Oh my god, I'm so bad on that. Are you Look, if, if you do a minute of burpees, I'll give you $100. Oh my god, no, I don't know how to do it. 
burpee. Yeah, yeah, you can do a burpee. No, I'm so bad. No, but I bet just for one minute. No, no, but only you, not them. I don't want to pay them. I just want to pay you. A hundred dollars for one minute of burpees. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna get paid either way. I didn't say you had to be good at it. One minute. You gotta do it for a minute. But I mean, like you could go really slow. If you beat me, I'll do two. I'll give you two hundred. Oh, your manager will be okay. I'll tell her. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, just I'll tell her it's for YouTube. It's okay. Oh, me either. I hate being, I hate anyone seeing me ever. Yeah, me too. So that's why yeah. I never go to the gym. I just do it on my house. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't go anywhere. I'm like locked up in my bedroom. I don't go anywhere. Yeah, I don't like it. Go eat more food. Where am I from? Yeah. From Canada. Canada. Yeah. Yeah, it's locked down up there right now. So that's why we're down here. This is like terrible up there right now. Yeah, it's horrible. Everything's locked down. Like, you gotta wear masks and shit. And you gotta have vaccines. And it's fucking sucks. Here, everything is, like, changing. <coughs> yeah, everything's everything's open here. And then like Afghanistan, it's like even worse. Mm. Yeah. That's like the worst. Like they're super locked down. The virus is everywhere. So we just go to like all three. Like Canada, here, and Afghanistan. <laughs> I don't know why he laughs at me. Uh, Dallas, Texas. <laughs> yeah, he he lives in Texas. <laughs> no, I really, I live down the street. So we're just leaving Five Guys, and I wanted to address something <clears throat> about this that probably goes unnoticed. And, you know, as I was getting in the shower earlier, uh, obviously you walk by a mirror, and as somebody that formerly had body image issues, um, the 10,000 calorie challenge is as much physical as it is mental for me. Um, because the notion of consuming 10,000 calories, I can only imagine what my body's gonna look like tomorrow. It's not going to look anything like it did first thing this morning, and that's a really scary thing for me. Um, not saying in any way it's triggering issues, but it certainly brings up the thoughts that I've had at one point in my life. And so, um, you know, I, I think it's just worth noting that anybody that struggles with body image issues, I don't think it ever completely goes away. And you know, all the, the crazy things that you do or, or even the, the not so crazy things you do is as simple as eating out, um, you know, certain meals or going overboard at, at periods of time, it can definitely trigger those things. And I think it's just worth noting. I'm not, I'm not bringing it up for any reason. I'm not saying there's any ways to get around it. Um, I just think it's awareness. And I think anybody that's watching this channel or seeing this video, if you've struggled with body image at any point in your life, um, I don't, I don't think it's something that you're ever 100% gonna defeat. I think you just learn to channel it positively. And, and I'm actually proud of myself for being able to move through this, um, see myself you know, consuming 10,000 calories, not at my best tomorrow, but knowing that it's temporary at best and knowing that I will get through it and I'll get right back on track and everything will be normal. So um, I don't know, I just, I just thought it was really uh, apropos. I think it's worth pointing out. I think anybody that, uh, a lot of times we get into fitness because we have body image issues. I think, um, man, keep fighting. Like somebody out there cares for you and, and you're going to beat it and you're going to learn to channel it. And, you know, from a former anorexic that would have never eaten a bur uh, burger and fries, I just ate two and a large fry and, you know, I'm 3,000 calories in at one meal and uh, I'm, I'm as happy as can be. So uh, to anybody that sees this, if that's you, man, just keep fighting and much love to you. And we're going to keep going on. So I hope that helps. It is now 5.40. We are here at Best Buy. Not going to lie, went home, fell asleep again on the couch. All of this food is getting to me. I think we're, what, 4,800 calories in. At this point, we have a big dinner plan. So real quick, we're running some errands. I need to get an Apple Watch so that I can track my calories burned tomorrow. Also, we have five uh, events of people coming into town this weekend for our boardroom. And uh, those are our high-level business coaching clients and so we're gonna have them come in we're gonna be doing something really fun on Sunday night uh, and so we got to get prizes for that <laughs> So we got a JBL speaker, we got Beats headphones, we got a Hyper Ice, um, a Theragun type thing, and we got my Apple Watch. These are the prizes for Sunday night. If you're seeing this now, you'll, our crew already knows. We're doing a casino night, so they have no idea what they're getting into. They just know they're coming in for two days of business development. So we're gonna go deep, 10 to four, classroom style, lots of breakout sessions, make sure they're equipped for the next quarter of what they need to go out and crush their goals. 
Then at night, we have actually rented out the whole ballroom at Maggiano's. We're having it catered. We're having a whole casino brought in. And we have three prizes. So whoever wins the most money will choose their first prize, second place, third place, etc. And uh, yeah, we look forward to it. It's our way of giving back to our community. They work so hard. They crush it. We're so excited to be helping them. And so it's just a little way for us to play as hard as we work. <laughs> Look at the sign. Look at the sign. Look at the sign. All right, guys, we are here. We are at Capitol Grill. We are at the last stop uh, on the meal tour. So I was able to do this in three meals, which is great. Uh, breakfast, as you know, is huge. Lunch was disgusting. Dinner is actually going to be very appetizing. This is one of my favorite restaurants in the world, no matter where we are. I usually try to find a Capitol and stop. So what we are going to do is we are going to go with the prosciutto wrap mozzarella with tomatoes. Serves to 440 calories each, so that's about 900 calories. We are gonna go with the filet, 10 ounce, but we're gonna get Kona crust on that. Uh, we're gonna go with the mac and cheese, so lobster mac, that's a lot. We are also going to do the cheesecake for dinner. That means we're probably still gonna have about, I think it's like 1200 calories left when we go home, so that means we got some cupcakes in store, and we're gonna be ready to rock and roll, so here we go. Normally when I get this, I'm like starving because normally by the time we come to dinner, I have barely eaten all day. Are you enjoying it or is it like you're just like, I gotta eat this? The first bites are like, I'm enjoying. By the fourth one, I'll probably be like, fuck this. If you haven't had Capital Grill mac and cheese, you're missing out. When you're full from like 10,000 calories and this is like one of the last things you have to eat, it goes down pretty easy because it's so fucking delicious. What does Jesse James West say? Last bite, best bite. For Jesse James West, we should collab. We should burn 10,000 calories in a day together. This is disgusting. It's just not good. It's not even good. No. It's not even remotely good. Last cupcake, worst cupcake. I mean, I'm fucking full. I'm not gonna lie. The plan was really good, mm -hmm. except we just waited too long for dinner. Mm -hmm. Like having to do that live at seven killed it. Because mm -hmm. if I could have spaced out dinner and the cupcakes, it would have been golden. Last bite, all gone. One, two, three, four, all done. Yeah, you got one calorie burned. I'm one calorie in. 9,999 to go. Can I get a ice venti americano with six Splenda? I guess this is when I say good morning. Welcome to day two of the vlog. We have officially consumed 10,000 calories and I feel like shit from it. They did not go down very well. Uh, I did not sleep very well. I had no problems falling asleep, but staying asleep was really hard. Starting about two in the morning, I got really thirsty. Every time I drank water, I would immediately like heat up, start to sweat, get even more uncomfortable. And that probably went on until about 5.30 when my alarm went off. They were gonna burn 10,000 calories. And so we're gonna weigh in when we get there. I think yesterday we were what, 188 and a half ish. This is gonna be way harder than eating 10,000 calories was. I, I have a detailed workout plan from Jason Layden of Conquer Athlete. I'm gonna have some modifications because he has me starting with a six mile run. And let's be honest, I'm not running six miles. So we are going to modify it a little bit, but I am gonna do just about everything. We're gonna leverage a couple different gyms in the area today. It's pretty much gonna be a day of nonstop working out. Day number two, so yesterday was 188, I think point four, is that right? Yeah, we'll check. It was like 188.4, 188.6, something like that. So see how much weight I gained. What did I predict? I think I predicted like 92. Six pounds. Yeah, said, I think, I, oh, I said six you pounds. You said 194. 194, okay. It might be a little bit much. I definitely don't feel that heavy, so maybe I overestimated, but let's see. 191.1, so a little less than three pounds. Three pounds up in a day is quite a bit. Uh, let's see if we can burn those three pounds off today. We'll weigh in tomorrow morning, see what we can do. So let's go get started on the 10,000 calories of burn. Yeah. Hey. Once again, here we go. Know the name, know the flow. Turn me up a little more. I'm setting traps, I'm alone. You know you whack, I'm a maniac. Boy, you know I'm black to the bone. 
Pick a place, nigga, pick a date. I go go cool, pick a love. Uh, thought you was good, huh? Take you out back, drag you through the woods, huh? Thought I was weak, huh? You ain't see the work I put in all week, huh? Give me that, where the city at? Nitty gritty, this ain't gonna be pretty, Jack. Not afraid, get up out the way, y'all used to hate. Like, is it like your food's coming up, or like uh, it's slowing you down? Everything, both. Performance wise, yeah. Both. Feel. Feel all right. Yeah. Feel like five pounds lighter. Look at what you made when it all goes down. I'ma run this time. Fire in my soul, got my eyes on the ground. I can't help myself lately, can't turn myself down. I'm in love with you, baby. But by the time leaving here this morning, we'll be north of 700, which it's like less than I wanted, but it's not bad. It definitely tells me that I can focus more on lifting today, which is exciting. You gotta be excited. I think anytime you're gonna burn 10,000 calories, part of it's physical, part of it's mental, you actually have to desire to do that work. Like, getting to the gym this morning was hard enough after eating all that food yesterday. Being here is hard enough. Like, staying motivated to literally train almost every minute I'm awake today is going to be the hardest thing that we do. Uh, physically, I'm strong enough to get through anything, but let's see if mentally I can do it. That's really the big component. And then also I'm gonna juggle it with a normal work day. Uh, I mean, I got shit to do. I got clients to take care of and we got money to make. So, uh, let's see how it goes. I let you down, I can't die in this town. They honestly have no fucking clue how bad this hurts right now. I won't die in this town. Last way to me. Ah, uh, thousand eighty seven. No, that's your move goal. That's your goal. Yeah, yeah down there. Oh, 1087. Shit. 1087. Like, this is the part you don't see on film. They literally finished. The AirPods are already in. I gotta go right to work. I feel like I'm gonna hit a groove. I feel like I know what Matt Cons I can sustain. I feel like I know what lifting I can sustain. Um, I know my body really, really well. So. I think we can do this. Just wrapped up that call. Figured it was time to refuel. My back is trashed. So I think running is probably out of the equation. Anytime we slow down today, it's gonna start hurting. And I'm sure I'm setting myself up for probably weeks and weeks of recovery, but I said I was gonna do this, so we're gonna commit to it. So right now I'm just gonna get some, like a quick meal in. I'm really not that hungry, but I know I need to eat if I wanna survive this. So uh, we're gonna go, I'm gonna make Rico and I breakfast. I'm gonna go four whole eggs. I'm gonna throw in probably two cups of egg whites. So each of us get two eggs and a couple whites. Um, we'll throw some cheese on it. I'll probably do some oats and berries and then we'll get right out <clears throat> back to the gym. Quick push pull workout and a Metcon on top of that. See if we can't get the calories up to 3000 plus and uh, get this day continued on. So kind of bummed on the cardio piece to be honest. I don't really run, but in a weird way I was looking forward to it. It's a little cold outside too, so I've been sick. Um, but we're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna get through this and I'll probably just be spending a lot of time inside gyms and we'll just go visit all the gyms in Loudoun County today. So, um, stay tuned. We're gonna keep pushing. It's early setback, but definitely one that's manageable. How many calories are you at right now? Uh, I think we're at like a little over 1200. So, which includes what's been burned and, and also, you know, just me like living. Feels good to just eat whatever the fuck I want. I'm not tracking anything today. Literally just eating whenever I'm hungry or like as I feel like I need fuel. So there's no rhyme or reason to food today. Or will tennis include that? Yeah, at the end. Workout number two. Workout number two. Shop gym. Which figure we change the scenery. Eyes wide open, darkness closing. 543 so far for this session. Not bad. 
You still got the Metcon to go. I feel good about it. You said we just crossed 2,000. For the day. And what time is it? 12.24. Sled push down and back. One to two minutes, five rounds. Goal is to get another 300 calories out of this. That puts us over 15, over 2,500. Wide open, darkness closing. Just stay focused, I'm not folding. I'll upset you, cause I'm just too dangerous. I'm dangerous. Let's be honest, say no contest. Take those comments and form my concept. From the get go, I just get so dangerous, so dangerous. Yeah. 942 calories in for the session. So, at the very least, we're gonna get to a thousand. Um, I don't know what it puts us for the whole day. Let's take a look. 23, 24 for the day. I'd like to get to 2,500 before we leave. Two equal size, don't equal ties. Yo, I came to equalize. Let's energize. Here's another update of this. It is 20 after three. Went home, had a little. Uh, I took an Epsom salt bath to try to uh, help my back. It's not helping very much. Um, really, like, I don't mind the pain, but it's just limiting what I can do. Um, so, as I said earlier, the goal was to get a four mile run in. I can't run, I can barely walk, to be totally honest. Um, and it looks like anything standing overhead is going to be really difficult as well. Um, so, we're going to go back to the gym. We're going to see what we can do uh we're gonna make do we're gonna move and we're gonna burn some calories because that's the whole point of today uh first little caffeine to get us moving not gonna lie this is exhausting um i didn't sleep great last night obviously all that food sitting in my stomach um and so to to be right back after it and to be training so much and, and with a reasonable amount of intensity too i don't you know, obviously the first session today finished with a Metcon, the second one, some sled work. So it's not like intensity has been super low. If I had to do this again, I think I would start really early and I would basically plan to just never stop moving. I wouldn't try to break this up into multiple workouts. I would try to have one long continuous workout with the understanding that you're gonna burn seven to 800 calories an hour. It's, it's probably gonna take nine to 10 hours and you're just gonna have to go. So probably like two five hour sessions of continuous movement, continuous lifting, probably a very long drawn out like Metcon, uh, you know, one of those like 20 to one where it's like a, a squat clean, a, a, you know, a deadlift, a bench press, things like that. Movements that you can do um, relatively repeatably, um, you know, low skill movements, but things that will definitely have pack a lot of uh, caloric burn uh, in short amounts of time. So, uh, you know, you live and you learn. Definitely way behind right now. I don't, it's not looking like we're going to make it, which is totally fine. Um, I have, again, I have so many thoughts that I'll share with you guys really soon. But for right now, we're going to go give it our all. We're going to get back to the gym and we're going to burn some more motherfucking calories. So, here we go. Caffeine's coming in and uh, it's time to do it. Sick man plus minus equals times. Pop says crazy watching the sequel shine. Last man stay. So, one of the worst parts about this right now is finding movements that just don't hurt my back. So even as I was warming up with five pound dumbbells, pressing overhead, like the extension on my back fucking kills. So we're gonna move, but finding movements that don't hurt is really becoming a challenge. And tell him I seek my prize. Challenge on why step in the ring you die. I remember what it's like to be you guys, letting people take all the truth. Do you even have like an appetite? Oh, not much of one. I was hungry before this. When I had that bar, uh -huh. uh, I actually like wanted to make a sandwich, but I just wanted to come get this shit done with. So I say something fast, but no, I don't have a big appetite. Like honestly, like absolutely nothing feels like I, I'm just tired. To be totally honest, I just want to like sleep. Feed you lies. As soon as you think that you're safe. It's a struggle, man. It feels so late. It's like eight o'clock. Seriously. And it's like what three in the afternoon. It's a struggle, everything feels heavy. I don't know, I got nothing positive to say about it. It's just, it's hard. I don't wanna complain about it being hard because I think that anything worth having like at this level is is worth being really hard. Um, so it's not, it's not a complaint as much as an observation. It's very difficult, probably more difficult than I anticipated. Like I knew it was gonna be hard, but I didn't think my body would shut down this quickly. Uh, there's a learning curve with this. I think what you think that you need and what you think you should be doing are, probably very different. Uh, I think that a lot of people set out with intentions to go really hard and I think it's more of a marathon to be totally honest. I don't I don't think you can get bouts of intensity throughout the day. I think it's too hard to recover quickly. 
That being said, coming off of yesterday with such a terrible nutrition day, I have not been as good about my nutrition today. Um, I didn't do any kind of recovery drink for either workout. I didn't make it a priority to recover, stretch, do anything like that afterwards. So there's definitely some things that I could improve upon for the next one. And yes, I am definitely going to do this again. More on that coming in a little bit. Let's keep going. Done? The end. Another 400 calories. All right, guys, we are back home and it's five o'clock. We're probably, I don't know, over 4,000 calories in, but I don't know exactly what the number is. Not anywhere close to 10,000 yet. And we've actually decided to call it. And the reason why is, number one, it's not worth the pain that I've been going through. Um, number two, I'm not really sure that we would have gotten there even without the pain at this point, given the current strategy. Um, I did actually talk to Jason on the way here and, and he said, you know, you could go for two hours of intervals on the, on the bike erg and that just doesn't really sound fun given my back right now. Um, so that being said, I, I've kind of tried to go through it all in my head and I'm sure I'll probably have more to add to this. So this may not be the final wrap up video, but you know, I think it illustrates the point. A lot of people talk about, you know, I exercise so that I can eat. And I, I think people really underestimate how many calories they're outputting and how easy it is to consume calories. I mean, getting into those calories yesterday, it wasn't easy, but it certainly was nowhere near as difficult as burning 10,000 calories today. And so I think a lot of people miss, you know, mistake that, um, you know, also planning these things out, uh, definitely, definitely kind of caught me by surprise. I think that there was, I think a lot of people think that to burn a lot of calories, you really need to be doing lots of cardio. Um, I don't really think cardio is the only answer as we found out today, weight training was really the really what moved the needle the most in terms of calories. Uh, interval weight training probably gave the most bang for the buck. So like some higher intensity pieces, some CrossFit style, some EMOMs, some AMRAPs, things like that um, seem to be doing really, really well. Um, but all in all, it was a really good learning experience for me. As I was telling Rico, you know, earlier when I got ready and I kind of changed, um, I could tell like a lot of the water weight that I put on from yesterday has already left. Um, I'm very excited to see where we're sitting tomorrow morning on the scale um, because obviously the goal was to see if we could burn all of the calories and lose all of the weight. So I'm excited to see how much weight we actually lost in one day. Um, I actually think we may see a new low, which would be absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a cool experience. I, I definitely want to do this again. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure as we do the official wrap up of this video, I'm going to have a challenge for one of you to come do it with me. I'll fly you out, stay in my house. We can eat and train and, and do all the things, but hopefully we can burn 10,000 calories together. Um, and above everything else, um, uh, I lose, I lose the 10,000 calorie challenge. Um, and, and I'm okay with that. You know, attempt number one, uh, you know, you can fail but uh, it doesn't mean I'm done. I'll definitely be at it again and we'll definitely crush it the next time. Um, I definitely need to get more fit. I need a better aerobic base. Um, I need the ability to recover and, and it definitely has to be planned out. I mean, if you guys look at the sequence we did, the, the morning, like yesterday morning when we were eating, Rico and I trained really heavy legs. Terrible idea. I should have done, I should have been able to do more legs today. Um, you know, I probably shouldn't have trained at all yesterday. Um, the day before I had done some shoulders and arms, I, I, I felt the soreness today. It, it's just, it's crazy how every little thing added up to such an extreme level of output. So, um, Listen, I guess the final piece to take away is there are no quick fixes. Everything is a process, everything builds up and um, you're not gonna be able to just burn something that you ate. So if you want something, eat it, uh, enjoy it, but don't think that you need to burn it off right away or that you can burn it off right away. This is all a process. Every decision you make is affecting future outcomes and I think that's really the biggest takeaway that you can get from this. So. Uh, for me, it's five o'clock. I'm gonna shut it down. I'm gonna nurse the back, probably ice it, put some stim on it, relax a little bit, and uh, get ready for the clients that are coming into town the next five days because that's the most important part of my life at the moment. So, hope you guys have enjoyed it thus far. I'll be back with an official wrap up later on, and we'll see you then. Hi right, guys, it is day number three. I'm sore, I'm tired, but we are gonna get the final weigh in here to kind of wrap all of this up. Uh, as you guys know, two days ago, Right before we started the 10,000 calorie day, um, we did a leg workout and I weighed in at, I believe, 188.4. Yesterday, I think I was 191 even. And so today, the moment of truth, obviously different scale, different clothes, but we're gonna get something reasonably accurate. Uh, how much of the 10,000 calories was I able to burn off yesterday? As you know, we didn't get all the way to 10,000 calories burned, but let's see how much weight I was able to move through. 
So this is giving us a reading of 189.8. It's actually a little higher than I was anticipating. I feel very, very light. If I went by the visual test, I also felt very, very lean today. Um, I felt very depleted and I feel like if I had to work out today, it would not be pretty, um, but there you go. I'm actually still up over a pound. Uh, so clearly, I was not able to burn through all those calories. I am still holding on to some of them, but I'd be willing to bet if I stayed on track with my diet the next day or two, even without crazy amounts of workouts, we'd be back down. Um, so I guess that's what it is. No real massive takeaways from that, but it's always a cool experiment to see how it works out. Overall, you know, I think a lot of people have this notion that they can out train a poor diet. And I think we just illustrated it really doesn't work that way. Um, like I said, even though I feel lean, even though I feel like I moved through everything, clearly the scale tells I'm still holding on to something. Now maybe that's inflammation, maybe that's water weight, or maybe that is some of the calories. But regardless, if done over time, if you can if you continue to try to out train poor choices, I just think you're gonna end up moving backwards. This is not to say that you shouldn't enjoy food. This is not to say that you shouldn't enjoy nights out and treat days and treat weekends and, and enjoy all of the finer things in life. But this is to say that if you're doing it with the intention that the next day you're just somehow gonna burn it off, chances are you're not. It takes a ridiculous amount of output to even think about burning off what you consume. And it's just not practical for most people. One of the things we ran into yesterday was I still had to work, I still had a normal day. And I'm assuming that most of us are not able to just shut our whole days down and go work out for no no other reason than just to burn off calories. So I hope this video was entertaining. I hope you guys had a good time. As always, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We have lots more fun stuff coming your way. But for now, I gotta get back to work. See you guys.